Welcome. Before we start, I just want to ask you, when you finish listening to this video, that you access the link in the pinned comments. Now you will have a moment of reflection and inspiration in a special devotional designed to prepare your heart and mind for the blessings that the new day offers. Then we will say a powerful morning prayer together to start your day with purpose and gratitude. Psalm 51 to 1 says, Have mercy upon me, O God. When Dr. Carey was suffering from a dangerous illness, the inquiry was made. If this sickness should prove fatal, what passage would you select as the text for your funeral sermon? He replied, Oh, I feel that such a poor sinful creature is unworthy to have anything said about him. But if a funeral sermon must be preached, let it be from the words, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy lovingkindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. In the same spirit of humility, he directed in his will that the following inscription and nothing more should be cut on his gravestone. William Carey, born August 17, 1761, died a wretched, poor, and helpless worm. On thy kind arms I fall. Only on the footing of free grace can the most experienced and most honored of the saints approach their God. The best of men are conscious above all others that they are men at the best. Empty boats float high, but heavily laden vessels are low in the water. Mere professors can boast, but true children of God cry for mercy upon their unprofitableness. We have need that the Lord should have mercy upon our good works, our prayers, our preachings, our almsgivings, and our holiest things. The blood was not only sprinkled upon the doorposts of Israel's dwelling houses, but upon the sanctuary, the mercy seat, and the altar, because as sin intrudes into our holiest things, the blood of Jesus is needed to purify them from defilement. If mercy be needed to be exercised towards our duties, what shall be said of our sins? How sweet the remembrance that inexhaustible mercy is waiting to be gracious to us, to restore our backslidings and make our broken bones rejoice. Now I want you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, as I rise this morning, I echo the humble plea of the psalmist, have mercy upon me. O God, I come before you, fully aware of my unworthiness, and yet I am grateful for your loving goodness that invites me into your presence. Lord, I ask for your mercy today, not because I am deserving, but because you are rich in compassion. Wash me clean of my transgressions and renew a right spirit within me as I start this day. Lord, like Dr. Carey, I recognize that I am a poor, sinful creature and worthy of any praise. Yet, I fall upon your kind arms, trusting in your grace alone. I ask that today, in all I do, your grace would uphold me. Let me live in the awareness that all my righteousness is as filthy rags before you, and that only by your mercy can I stand. May your mercy be my foundation as I seek to honor you in every moment. Father, I am reminded that the best of us are still in need of your grace. Empty boats may float high, but those burdened with the weight of your truth and love are often low in the water. Keep me humble, Lord, aware of my unprofitableness and quick to cry out for your mercy. Let my heart be filled with gratitude, knowing that every good work, every prayer, and every offering must be purified by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that your mercy extends even to our holiest endeavors. Just as the blood was sprinkled on Israel's sanctuary and altar, I ask that the blood of Jesus would cover my prayers, my actions, and my thoughts today. Purify my motives and cleanse my heart, so that I may serve you in spirit and truth. May your mercy transform my efforts into something pleasing in your sight. Finally, Father, I rejoice in the knowledge that your mercy is inexhaustible. No matter how many times I fall or how far I stray, your grace is always there to restore me. Let this truth fill me with hope and joy today as I trust in your ability to heal my brokenness and make my heart rejoice. 
Guide me, Lord, and let your mercy be the light that leads me through this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. And in the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. For you who stayed until the end, I have a gift. If you want to receive and access powerful prayers that can bless you with divine gifts and manifest wealth and abundance in your life, listen to the one-minute prayer now by accessing the link in the pinned comments.